Welcome back live from inside the Capitol this morning as we examine the extent of President Biden's involvement in his family's overseas business deals amidst charges of bribery, money laundering, influence peddling. The president continues to deny he had any knowledge of his son Hunter's business, despite witness testimony to the contrary. Joining me right now with their expert insight is the New York Post columnist Miranda Devine and Peter Schweitzer, the president of the Government Accountability Institute. Miranda is the author of the must-read Laptop from Hell. Peter is the author of the must-read Red Handed. Both are best-selling authors. Thanks very much for being here. And Peter, I want to kick things off with you with something that uh, is not being spoken about very much, but you're well aware of this $5.2 million discrepancy in Joe Biden's tax returns. What do you know about this? Yeah, well, what we know is that Joe Biden has an LLC called Celtic Capri, through which he runs his money. And on his 2017 and 2018 tax returns, he said on his tax returns that he had $12.6 million in income during those two years. Flash forward to 2019, when he runs for president of the United States, he fills out a form for the Office of Government Ethics, a financial disclosure. During those same two years, he says on this form that he only had $7.4 million in income. That's 40% less than he told the IRS that he had. What accounts for that $5.2 million uh, you know, discrepancy? It's during the same time period. It's the same entity. Uh, I certainly think one possibility is in 2019, when he fills out that form to run for president, there's a lot more scrutiny than there was when he was filing his taxes back in 2018. Well, we have been saying that the president continues to deny any involvement in this, but the House Republicans tell us that the entire family has collected money. So what about this? Can the president continue to say, I don't know what my family made. I, I have nothing to do with any millions of dollars that my family may have been paid from foreigners. What do you think, Peter? Well, look, I think there's a couple of questions. First of all, I think one of the reasons the House is investigating is to untangle uh, how Joe Biden might have financially benefited from these deals. But let's be crystal clear about this. If you look at the federal guidelines on bribery, Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, the international <laughs> bribery standards that the Obama-Biden administration signed on to in 2011, bribery does not just entail the politician getting paid. If you as a political figure took actions that benefit an entity that then pays your family members mm. and you don't even get a dime that still constitutes bribery so when the white okay. house says no money to joe nothing to see here that avoids the issue and miranda you've written and reported extensively on the 10 percent for the big guy as well as yeah. uh, this uh movement from republicans wanting joe biden's bank records Yes, and look, Maria, the irony, uh, what Peter was just saying about family members, is that when Joe Biden was going to Ukraine as vice president and lecturing them about corruption, one of the new statutes that they were bringing in was uh, that it was going to be bribery for family members of officials to receive money. So uh, it, it's amazing that the U.S. State Department and the vice president were demanding from Ukrainians things that Joe Biden doesn't even abide by himself. Um, mm. I think the hypocrisy was not lost on the Ukrainians. Miranda, do you believe that this inquiry will give the Republicans more tools to investigate a deeper probe? Oh, definitely. Uh, James Comer is looking forward very much to having uh, things like immunity to offer to witnesses. He believes he might have got more from Devin Archer if he'd been able to offer him immunity. Certainly mm. Eric Schwerin, who is the bookkeeper, will be benefiting from that. Um, and, and also just the ability for his subpoenas to have more okay. weight. Hold on, you guys. Miranda Devine and Peter Schweitzer, quick break, and we're back with more. Stay with us. Welcome back. Welcome back. Back with Miranda Devine and Peter Schweitzer. Uh, Miranda, we've been hearing lots of attacks and criticism about Merrick Garland and whether or not he's tipping the scales with all of these charges against Joe Biden. But there's an article in the journal this morning saying that now the relationship is deteriorating. What can you tell us? Well, it seems pretty clear that uh, that 
uh, Merrick Garland has decided that he's copping too much reputational damage uh, on behalf of Joe Biden's wayward son. And so I guess the gloves are off now, particularly since Hunter Biden's uh, lawyers unloaded with that leak to Politico and um, The New York Times after the plea deal collapsed and basically humiliated David Weiss and, uh, you know, went through chapter and verse, all the special meetings and the collaboration that went on during that five five-year investigation supposed into Hunter Biden and the sweetheart deal that emanated from that. And I think now uh, there's, a, there's a pit bull, uh, a guy called Leo Weiss, who's been put on the case, and mm -hmm. uh, he has a track record of being a tough prosecutor. Um, I don't think it's going to be easy going uh, for Hunter Biden to come. Um, but also, uh, at the same time, you've got um, James Comer's people, as much as the Democrats try to poo-poo his investigation, yeah. um, he's closing in on some pretty serious uh, aspects of this, uh, particularly he's following the money trail. He has specific bank account numbers in the United States where hmm. uh, it's alleged by people in Ukraine uh, money went to Joe Biden. Right. And Peter, uh, five million to one Biden and five million to the other Biden was the testimony from uh, a whistleblower. Yeah, exactly right. Look, the impeachment inquiry is going to give Capitol Hill a lot more muscle. More to come. All right. We will leave it there. Miranda Devine, Peter Schweitzer, thank you. And thank you for joining us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.